Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 41 of... Wow, this... wow, look at this! 41 of... Fallout 4. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. The Pride Win. Pride Win. I believe we are. This is episode 41 of uh, Fallout 4. So. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose, and our mi beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer, known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation. The Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the Atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war. By starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Wow, I'll do my best. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Ooh, okay. Do you ever get tired of this hunting down freaks, cleansing the wasteland? Yeah, so long it just as seems like too big a job. Of course, it's hard work, but hard work is noble work. What we do is essential to humanity's survival. That's how I keep going. A couple hundred years ago, some superstructure integrity the world. Green. Now it's our problem. Whole plating stable. We're nothing but a bunch of custodians with guns. The way I see it, we have two choices. We can sit back and do nothing while man's hubris continues to take us down the wrong path, or we can get out there and do something about it before it's too late. Wow. Lots of stuff for us to take here, since we are part of the communications array calibration test. Wait, uh, how do we? Ooh. Balance nice stuff. <laughs> we are unashamedly taking everything we can. Oh. What? Who wants those, uh... 
Okay, uh... System Delta's at 100%. Secondary Delta standing by. Reactor at 100% efficiency. Okay. 38 round fragmentation grenade. Tactical calibrated powerful military grade combat circuit board. Light bulbs. Pinging okay. remote units at 30 second intervals as requested. I believe you're needed elsewhere right now. Okay, we are, we are, we're out of here. Getting a three second ping back. That is flight deck? No, we're not going to the flight deck. I think this is where we are you know supposed to go. Right now. Good. Yes, okay, main deck. And then we're supposed to what? Uh, get our power armor, right? <laughs> yay, yay, yays! And uh, I hopefully it comes. We don't have to use our own uh, fusion. Uh, Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Ooh. Oh, we cannot take this. These are all red. I guess stuff that are out in the open are oh I'll administer your exam after you've checked in with Dance and Elder Maxim. Okay, let's check in with Dance. How about what's on this side? I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Max and Paladin Dance. Not a danger to people we're supposed to protect. I wish there were, but we have no idea how bad the Sims have infiltrated the population. Maxon said we have to take preemptive measures. I know what Maxon said, but it sounds like by preventing a war, so how we did might it be look starting like another one. We've got a lot I'm of work sure ahead of us, okay brother. So oh, these are yeah. As long as they are out in the general open, they are. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. Hesitating to pull the trigger it. on any of the Commonwealth scum. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <laughs> Got it. There it is. If you find any technical documents, Thanks, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Come find me when you're done checking in with Maxon and Dance. Oh, oh that is over here. I think, he, I think he's here, isn't he? The Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make Excuse sure me, Paladin Dance. Head out. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Oh, won't let you down. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Uh, send Nick Valentine to the... Yeah, Red Rocket truck stop. Yes. Okay, so now what? Oh, he... He is following us. Okay, now what do we want to do? Uh, let us tour of duty. Meet Proctor Ingram, Quinlan, and Captain Cade. Quinlan, Captain. There's Brotherhood, then there's everything else. Nothing in between. Captain You're Quinlan. You're an inspiration to us all, Knight. Do us proud. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? 
Yes? Sure, go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Oh. Uh. Before there wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Oh, I don't remember. Never been sick. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? No, no, never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Captain Kate? Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Meeting the Maxine crew? Maxine wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. I Maybe help. I could lend a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Collect technical doc. Complete. Okay. Completed. So Captain Quinlan. Now, where are we supposed to meet? Uh, okay, we're supposed to meet with Tour of Judy Proctor Tegan and Proctor Ingram Oh, Put this is our and they'll stay dead. Proctor Ingram So, you're the new recruit I heard about huh, Not what I was expecting What were you expecting? The last batch of recruits we took on were wastelanders. Dirty, beaten up, looking for a handout. They were desperate and looking for an easy out. You look like you're here for a reason. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Okay, uh, charm school, power armor. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! Ah, that's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see. I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, 
I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Okay, uh, missing legs? Getting around well? I understand. I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Okay, Proctor Ingram. Uh, which is the... Oh, this is our power armor. Huh? It's uh It's got a torso, got a helmet, Rust right leg. Disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Pridwin's hull from the outside. Not this one? That's a Boss 2 T60 right leg. Jeez, uh, but does it have? Sense are the worst. They hide in plain sight. Oh, it has a fusion armor. Well, it has a fusion core. Uh -huh. And this fusion core is thirty-eight. Okay, that is what we will put in there. Oh, it has helmet, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, and torso. It is complete, okay. Let's not waste serving under Elder Max. I had another that thing and let's talk to this guy. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster. Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Good to know. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Okay, uh, let's Tegan. talk. Let Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Okay, uh... Not here to do chat. Keep my distance. Cage? Okay, so meet with Elder Maxon. Oh, this frame is driving me crazy. I've got like three itches I can't even scratch. No, that's the wrong one. I think it's this one. Uh huh. Okay, we can come back later for the armor. I thought we talked with Elder Maxon already. What does it say again? Uh. Yeah, meet with Elder Maxon. I thought we did. What happened?
Oh, flight deck. Then we can go down, pick up our uh, powered armor, uh, go down to uh, sanctuary, and then let's do our first. Where is Elder Maxim? Oh, what's he doing here? Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Prigman's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yes. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Wow. Where is... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Save this. Uh, do we want to go in there with, in our powered armor? Or do we want to go in there uh, on a stealth mode? Uh, I think we'll go in there with our powered armor. I don't know, uh, stealth mode. Where is it? Uh, I think it's this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. Their base. Uh, okay. So what do we do? What are we supposed to do? Uh huh. Oh, we got a got combat shotgun. Did we get a combat shotgun? Did, did, did I see that correctly? Okay, we got our combat shotgun. Okay, hold on, hold on. Combat knife. Uh, where's the combat knife? Combat powerful. Short combat shotgun. Yes. Wow. Okay, I think we are. And is dance with us? Yes, dance is with us. You know what? Uh, can we? Uh, okay, let me cut the episode right here. I am very excited. There's so much stuff to look for here, to pick up here, and then uh, we can go and fight. Okay, uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.